Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare and start working directory for your new Creo installation. As you can see, I just installed Creo 10 and you can see that system will add for me the recently added program. Also, you can find the same icon in the group for the PTC. Yeah, so over here you have a Creo parametric so we can find the icon also here. If you will select right mouse button with, Creo, with Windows 10, you can see here that, for example, if I would like to see it, I am able to see the open file location. In the file location, you can see the just created icons. And from this icon, you can run the Creo 10, for example. And as I mentioned, we would like to start and set up custom default preferences for your working directory. So what does it mean? This is the default configuration and installation, nothing changed. So I will start Creo 10 and after a few seconds system will show you the first window and also you can see the Creo 10. And over here you can see that system always start a few the web pages we will show, I'd like to show you in the next video tutorial how to configure the additional preferences with Creo, Ribbon, Icon, and so on and so on. So, but focus on the actual preferences. So what does it mean? If I will select open, the system will jump directly to my user Palfi and my document. So what does it mean for default starting directory? I like to start my custom, so what does it mean? I don't want to always looking for the starting directory. So what does it mean? I just prepare it, the folder for me. So for example, this computer on the C users, my name, CAD and Creo 10. And over here, I have prepared configuration file, config pro. And over here, I just really randomly put the one configuration option for the mass properties, some default layers, and for example, map keys. So what does it mean? Our wish is that if we will start our Creo, the system will directly jump to this directory and load this config profile. Because as you can see, default loading is coming from, I will show you, if you will select this button setting here, and configuration editor, this is my public documents config profile and over here is the default C program PTC Creo 10 common files config pro. So over here are default configurations option from PTC. In the next tutorial I'd like to show you all additional configuration and logic how to set up your preferences. But let's jump back. So what does it mean? I will switch off the Creo 10. When we close the Creo 10 we have right now two windows open. First one is the icon for the starting. So you can use the icon also from the desktop. But this is the information from the start menu. And then we have our preferred folder. You can take this path and if you will select right mouse button on the shortcut for Creo 10, you can select the properties folder where system will start. As you can see over here is the C users public documents and we will change it to our C users, my name, CAD Creo 10. If I will confirm OK, the system will apply changes. We can start Creo. When Creo 10 start, you are able to use the open button. And you can see that now the system again jump to my documents. But if I will start working directory, now the system jump to window user CAD Creo 10. So directly jump to our preferred working directory. But if you would like to start Creo from directory, from working directory, I will show you one option. But let's go back to the preferences, settings, configuration editor. You can see that right now really the system load my config profile. So default layer, map key, and mass properties calculate. But our wish is that we really would like to start from working directory. Please add configuration option by find function. You can select the file and wrote file. Find now and you are able to found 
the option which is called I will show you file open default folder and if you will select the drop down menu here over here is the function working directory so choose the file open default folder set working directory use at change and close and we would like to see these changes in our config file so we will use the function OK and yes I'd like to save changes now the system will jump again to your working directory you can come from the config profile and if I will close the Creo we will open the config pro config pro will be changed and our new config option is here so you can arrange as you wish so you can move it on different position save the file it's not necessary this change but you are able to do it and then if you will run Creo again and if you will use the function open the system directly jump to Windows user CAD Creo 10 as default working directory so always jump to working directory you don't need to push this button working directory and all changes if I will select again configuration editor you can see that file open default folder is activated over here in this video tutorial I have shown you how you are able to set up the starting working directory and where you are able to put your config profile for default loading thank you for your question stay tuned and bye bye bye, -bye.